record progress. All right, you're all on screen now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I would forgot to do that and lesson up like I did last time for like 30, 45 minutes. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Denver Do. Denver Dose, yeah, React Denver, that's the one. Um, sorry, this was a week late. Blame him. Actually, played played the office. It's, it's not his fault. Um, this week uh, we have Elsa. Give us a great talk about finding motivation. Um, he doesn't know that it's great. He hasn't heard it. <laughs> okay, I haven't heard it, but I'll take your word on it. Um, housekeeping. Uh, thank our host, trade desk, and Charlie. Uh, thank you. Bathrooms are clear around all the way around. And you have to come all the way back around. There's there's only way to get there. Um, that's all I was gonna say. So. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take care of it for you. Um, uh, if anyone's looking or hiring, please come talk because I think there are a lot of folks of, that are in the same boat. Um, and what else was there? Sponsor, uh, always looking for sponsors. Uh, we thank Zoom and Michael, who's not here, uh, for the wonderful Zoom package and um, trade desk again. Otherwise, I will turn it over. Also, I will be over here. <laughs> I will do my best not to need you. Okay. Um, I uh, feel oddly like important <laughs> up here. Um, mostly I would love if we could like have a discussion tonight and less of like, I'm not gonna be teaching you anything. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just like talk about the things we do mostly. Um, so a little bit about me, uh, my name is Elsa. I went to Turing um, in, I started in October of 2020 and graduated the next April and the front end track. Um, worked at Visio for up until January. And um, now I work for No Inc, which is a small ed tech consultancy way out in Maryland. Um, they're all going to an office lunch on Friday. I'm like, <sighs> get some fried plantains and like put them in the mail, I guess. Um, uh, but I've only been there a couple of weeks. I'm really enjoying that. Uh, I think that's all the relevant stuff that you need to know off the bat. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. Uh, like I said, we're going to be talking about the stuff that we like. One slide at a time. Um, so one thing that I... I guess realized when I was in Turing and you know learning how to how to think in code and how to like break problems up into sections and um, figure out how how to solve them. Um, one of the things that I realized was that there's a lot of things in my life that I can approach the same way, but those things also give me make me better as a developer. Um, these are things that I love to do. I, I don't actually do much Sudoku, but I do watch a very kind British man do Sudoku on YouTube. And when he's very frustrated, he says Bobbins McBobbins face. <laughs> and it's just like, it's one of my happy places. Um, but he's great about talking about how, uh, you know, there'll be uh, vastly different rule sets for each of the puzzles that he does. And so he breaks down like, okay, do I understand this set of rules? And do I, um, like, how, how do I know where I want to start in the puzzle? And, uh, you know, what, what are the easy parts that I can get? Can I get some numbers in right away? Um, uh, which I am sure, because you're all very smart people, you know, like, that's very close to what we do as devs. Um, crossword puzzles, I just love working my brain in, in that sort of like logical, but I, I do the New York Times crossword puzzles on the app. 
and and you have to like understand the language that they write the clues in and then it's easier to figure out like oh this is probably this word and not that one because you know there's uh, this abbreviation in the clue so the answer is going to be an abbreviation um improv comedy i love watching it um and ttrpgs i love playing them and also watching them i guess and those two kind of scratch the itch of like coming at a problem in a in a surprising direction um and also understanding where somebody else is and saying okay yes i can work with that <laughs> Um, and then also communicating your ideas well is important to both of those. Um, fiber arts, I knit and crochet, and they're both very mathematical. Um, and if you want to make something that you're not following a pattern with, you have to understand, like, how do I, you know, make something wider and how do I make it look good <laughs> and, and how do I know like, how do I know what this is gonna look like if all I've seen is a pattern? Um, I don't remember what I was gonna say about sci-fi and fantasy, but I also like those. <laughs> <laughs> um, so like I said, these are, these are some of, I guess the similarities between these hobbies that I have, things that I enjoy and how they can help me become a better developer. And this is where you all need to talk um, because I know that you're probably like, oh yeah, I also love Sudoku. Some of you love playing Factorio and Satisfactory and min-maxing everything you do. It's it's him. I know him. <laughs> Factorio feed right here. <laughs> are you back end as well? Oh no, Factorio as well. <laughs> oh, you're back end up? Or are you? Oh no, fine. Yeah. Well, that's weird. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I <put> that. <laughs> Um, uh, so do, let's do a little like brainstorming. I don't care if you raise your hand. What are some things you'd like to do that seem like they're not related to being a good developer? Video games. Video, like what kind of video games? Because there's a lot of different, like shooty, shooty, pew, pew. I, I do Sims. Not, not the Sims, but simulations. Factorio, oh, yeah. Dyson Sphere Program. Mm -hmm. Great one. I want to play that one. Mm -hmm. Kerbal. Uh, I don't want to play that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at least for me, it, it's like the simulation building is, is effective planning, mm -hmm. uh, which leans into to software development planning ahead. Um, what else do I do? I don't know what I do for fun. <laughs> I play Minecraft a lot. Same. I do a lot of Minecraft. It's because there is there's a pause button and my wife loves pause buttons. <laughs> um yeah, with things like I've watched my husband play Satisfactory and Factorio and all the other, you know, min-maxing simulation type games like you, you have to have some idea in your head of where the end is going to be in order to start. What about anything else? Woodworking, math, planning. Woodworking, math, and planning, yes. Like, if you need to build something with a sheet of plywood, you know, it's four by eight, you know, how, how can I fit all of these pieces together so that it's as efficient as possible, um, not wasting any wood. Like overall patterns, uh, looking for ways to make things more efficient or automated. <laughs> I like to do philosophy and formal logic. I also like to do, have you ever done like um, international like linguistics competition, I think? It's nerdy word puzzles, basically. Um, yeah, 
finding patterns. Uh, and also like finding fallacies, right? Looking for holes in things. Yeah. A different form of analysis. Yeah, for sure. Um, escape rooms. Well, those are so fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we did an escape room in a box uh, the other night with our family, which was... Oh, in a box? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of fun. I created my own shorthand one time just because uh, my cursive is terrible and my print was too slow. So I kind of took a lot of borrow from, uh, borrowing from the Palm Pilot uh, graffiti language. And uh, I kind of made adjustments to it to make the, the simplest strokes, the most common letters like E was just a straight line across. T was a, a right angle over and down, but not the cross all the way across. I made a font out of it, but I think I lost it when I changed the gears at one point. I think you need to do it again. <laughs> it's like it's like living with, with someone who writes with Egyptian. It's like all these boxes with these codes on them. I'm like, I can't read it. Sumerian numbers? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like hieroglyphics. <laughs> all these boxes you moved from before we knew each other have this you know, this have the shorthand on them. Like, <laughs> I don't know what that is. This is from my alien era. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> look at the uh the chat i martin i think i just google just google international linguistics competition and there's like an archive of past like puzzles um and i like to print them out because that's the kind of stuff that i need pencil and paper with um, anybody else the quiet side um drew a lot of beer and I feel like a lot of that was just like learning how to not give up on a problem. <laughs> not giving up on a problem, yes. There's a surprising number of ways you can mess it up, and I have found them all. <laughs> False. You, you hope, think you found them all. You found them all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, how, how to not give up on something, how to, you know, maybe celebrate your failures, or maybe just dump them down the drain. <laughs> And start over. One of the one of the mantras we had at Turing was that code is cheap. <laughs> try it, write it, see if it works. If it doesn't work, delete it. Try it a different way. That's why I didn't get into Harper. Because <laughs> when you make a mistake, it creates smoke. <laughs> it's very expensive. <laughs> what about um, like iterating? Yeah, iterating over possible solutions like like with brewing like okay you start with a recipe and you're like it didn't work let me change one thing <laughs> and see what that does celebrating that moment where you get to do something different yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. At, least, at least it's a different error <laughs> <laughs> yeah celebrating when you actually get an error Oh, it's a, it's a different era this time. Okay, I'm, I've made progress. Exactly. Yeah, and progress isn't, you know, obviously it's not linear, but it also doesn't mean you're done. Anybody uh, in the chat? No. There should be because there's at least two people on there. <laughs> know that they're supposed to and martin <laughs> should be <we> blame martin <laughs> um so that was the <laughs> martin's not a person that's fine that was the um kind of the warm up to what i love talking about which is the <laughs> I even brought my jacket. It says, oh, I can put it on because I'm sweating. <laughs> Hope Punk. Close enough. Um, probably ooh, four years ago, I um, came across this this definition of what is hope punk. Um, so if you know what grimdark is, I think of like 
like the dark like Batman movies or um, noir, Watchmen noir, but not just like darkness. Also, you know, everything is terrible. Period. The end. I didn't like that. <laughs> everything. If everything is terrible, then why do? Why do anything? Uh, Warhammer, grimdark. <laughs> um, so it. Uh, I guess I could. I'll put these slides in the Discord when we're done, so you can click on the links. Um, uh, but the Vox article is a is a really good kind of explanation. It's probably going to do a better job than I am. Um, but I wanted. I wanted a word to explain how being hopeful doesn't mean you're being childish. It doesn't mean you're being ignorant. It doesn't mean you're, um, you know, just not paying attention or like wearing blinders. It means, yeah, I, things can be pretty shitty, um, and they have been for a lot of us <laughs> for the past three years. But that's not where it ends. It's things are shitty and I have this wonderful group of people that have kept me going um, in, on, on the internet. It's, we have our Discord server. I know Matt has his Discord server of friends across the world that like things are bad, but and things are hard, but you know, where's the joy? Where can you find something um, that keeps you going? Uh, I'll just, I guess, let you read it. I won't talk for a moment. Uh, so I had one of my friends, he's got a store where he makes nerdy wear. So nerdwear.com, it's what the nerds wear. Um, and so I had to make this hat for my birthday. It says, I'm ironically enthusiastic about blank because I can't choose. <laughs> I, I, just, I just love the things that I love. Um, like I brought some props. I like unicorns and uh, Unicorns. <laughs> and, uh, you know, wearing a tiara. Oh, I didn't think about this here. And that. <laughs> awesome. Sometimes you just need to wear a tiara on Tuesdays. So it's Tiara Tuesday. <laughs> uh, onesie Friday. No pants Monday if you work from home. <laughs> um, but my, my whole life I've paid, thanks Dana, I've paid close attention to the things that bring me joy, the little things. Um, seeing a dog wearing a sweater, uh, you know, writing a function that works. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Even better, it works the first time. Oh, then you get suspicious, right? And then it's a, it's a little bit scary. <laughs> you still you stop, but you stop and you do the fist bump. You're like, all right, let's fix the next problem. Um, this, I think the next one. Yeah, so this, I, we can talk more about this kind of stuff, but like mostly I would love for you to like, take this with you tonight and be like, what are the things that give me joy? How can I bring them into my life more? How can I, um, you know, when I'm knocked down, <laughs> not gonna quote Chumbawamba. <laughs> I really, really want to. <laughs> We're all thinking it. <laughs> it's not even the best song on the album. <laughs> Um, uh, how, how can you make sure that there's something around you or something in your mind that you can go to and be like, okay, 
this is a thing that's really hard that I'm dealing with right now. While I'm, you know, sitting in this, the mire of whatever it is, what can I have with me? Who can I have with me? Um, how do I, you know, how do I want to measure, <coughs> measure my progress um, and celebrate the victories? I also, in my Discord server of friends, we came up with uh, brute force glomping. It's, it's our non-existent rugby team. But basically, it's when somebody's like being down on themselves, like even if they just say in passing, oh, I'm such an idiot. And then they just keep talking. It's like, wait, no, 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 no. You're not an idiot. You're going to say five nice things about yourself now. Because <laughs> if you're not going to do it, then we're all going to do it. <laughs> and it's going to be even worse for you. <laughs> um, I've, I have annoyed a few of my friends into feeling better about themselves. Uh, and, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> That's an important thing to do. Mm -hmm. Motivate, lift up people where you can. Yeah. Yeah. Pay attention to the words that you're using. Um, Cause you wouldn't, you know, if your coworker makes a mistake, you wouldn't tell them that they're an idiot. You shouldn't tell them that they're not. <laughs> you can think it, that's okay. Um, you know, just be kind to yourself. Pay attention to the things that bring you joy and, and don't be ashamed of them. Um, I will read what Martin wrote. Once when I said something mean about myself, my friend said, hey, that's my friend you're talking about. Like, we can call each other out and, and just make us take us a moment to be kind to ourselves. Um, I would love to hear about some of the things that just are joyful. I was like rainbows, but I couldn't fit one in the building. <laughs> We really wanted to, we could create one. We could, we could create it with it. Pretty sure my lenses have a prism effect. <laughs> <laughs> I brought as close as I could get. <sighs> Which is awesome. <laughs> Ren Fair, of course. One of the things that I've heard that kind of like is, uh, there's just a random comment that I came across in some form somewhere. And someone said, one of the things that I do uh, is every time I have a meal, I say, um, Oh, when they see the food, they'll go, oh, uh, such and such. That's my favorite thing. And they would do it no matter what it was. And for some reason, over time, they just started to like be less picky or just feel better about everything that they eat. Mm -hmm. I think it's a, a good way to keep your, your spirits up is to, if you, can't, if you can't change the reality, then kind of change your perception of it. Yeah. Yeah, I think people use the term fake it till you make it yeah. in kind of a negative way, but I mean, I feel like that's how I got to where I am. <laughs> like, I, you know, went through some shitty stuff in my life and, you know, focused on, on the good things and knew that the bad things weren't going to be forever. And yeah, fake being happy until you're happy. <laughs> Seems to work. A few years ago, I was in a bad, bad funk, and it was just negative thought about myself after negative thought about myself after negative thought about myself. And I read this mantra, which was, anytime you say something negative about yourself, you follow it up with, even though I'm blank, I deeply and completely accept myself. So if I'd say, oh, I'm a, I'm a terrible engineer, even though I'm a terrible engineer, I deeply and completely accept myself. <laughs> oh, I'm a bad mother. All right. Even though I'm a bad mother, I deeply, completely accept myself. And by making that a stop, mm -hmm. anytime I said that negative, it's it's good <clears throat> behavioral therapy. I mean, it's not, this is nothing new, but it really did work. It took about six months. Yeah. Just consistent reminders to myself that I was, that I accept myself the way I am instead of fighting it. Yeah. Right? And I think that was just, it was a huge step forward 
in my development for sure to be able to look at myself as a friend go pat myself on the shoulder and go you know it's okay that you did badly in that interview yeah it's okay that you yelled at your kid he was being annoying you know it's not it's not a goal in my life to continue doing that but it does happen from time to time yeah so just like just being present in yourself mm -hmm. and realize that those words are hurting you i think that's a big step forward yeah words mean things yeah like i learned a lot from raising my kids where if you you know if you give a kid a pencil and tell them to write their names they're not going to do it well the first time right. it doesn't make them less of a person it says they're not good at that yet and i i also follow up what my friends say a lot of the times with a yet yeah I'm like well no you didn't you know you didn't get that job you didn't get a job yet you you know they're this may not feel hopeful for everybody, but every interview is going to be a failure until you get the job. Like that's that's how it is. But but there's an end. Like you're gonna get a job. That's that one's for Dana. I'm looking right at you. <laughs> Josh, you're gonna get jobs. <laughs> <laughs> And you're gonna get a job. It just hasn't happened yet. <laughs> yeah. This is basically all I had. Three more. Okay. Yeah. Um, so this is very, very simplistic, but when I was little, probably six or seven, I saw the movie Pollyanna with my aunt. And that is something that has stuck with me my entire life, is playing the glad game. If you haven't seen Pollyanna, there's a little girl who, poorest girl in the world, gets stuck with her rich aunt in a town full of people who are really down on themselves and really rules, stick to the rules. And she turns the town around by showing everybody how to be glad. And the idea is no matter how bad things are, there's something to be glad about. And that is something that has just stuck with me. And so I always look for the thing I can be glad about. I'm a fairly optimistic person to begin with. So I guess I have that going for me, but there's always something to be glad about. And right now I have a Red Bull. It's keeping me awake. I have wicked multiple sclerosis fatigue, but this is my glad. It's keeping me awake. All of you guys are my glad because this is so cool for me. I'm a baby developer who's still in school. I'm learning this, but I'm learning it and it's fun. And now I can interact with you guys. You may not quite be my peers yet. I'm not quite on most level, but- Code, you're a developer. I, yep, exactly. I'm learning, I'm getting there. And for me, that's something I can be glad about to have an opportunity like this. So look for the glad. Yeah. There's always sunshine. Exactly. There's always stars. Exactly. There's no sunshine, you know, there's cool bugs. <laughs> get a cat, get a dog. <laughs> <laughs> They're ridiculous. A toy that makes you happy. Yeah, I, yeah, I have, I have a lot of, um, I have a lot of unicorn stuff in my office where I spend a lot of my time because I like to have it around me. I'm gonna start calling on people if people <laughs> <laughs> sleeps up. That's like I'm just gonna sue. He's glad tonight was that he didn't have to be the speaker. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, not the speaker for the first time in six months. <laughs> <laughs> We're glad for that. Elliot. What? You thought you could just come and sit in the corner and not get called on? Because you would probably be cold. <laughs> what, what, what's something that just brings you joy? Clowns. Clowns. <laughs> Kids are great. 
don't. <laughs> no, nobody, nobody really. Clowns or clouds? Clowns, clowns. clowns. With the noses. And... <laughs> the ones you're thinking of. Not yep. exclusively creepy <laughs> ones. <laughs> clouds at first. So I was thinking of, okay, I'm saying clouds. clouds. Oh, I like clouds. <laughs> yeah. You... Oh, so, okay. There's... Yeah, we're ignoring Martin. <laughs> <laughs> um I've, I've gotten pretty good at like if i look out a window and the light is a certain way i'm like oh, it's rainbow time mm -hmm. <laughs> we get so excited yes. like just stop whatever i'm doing and i go and look for a rainbow <laughs> yes that that happens when i'm not driving i haven't <laughs> i haven't gotten into a rainbow um accident yeah. yet yet it's a great word i've had to pull over sometimes <laughs> It's, you know, sometimes you just have to scream because there's a rainbow. It's fine. Everybody does it. I can't stop thinking about the, the unicorn. Is that what it is? My daughter loves unicorns and I think she would just be obsessed with them. Yeah, apparently, I don't know if it was a game or a show, but this is like actual branded punicorn merchandise that a friend sent me. Um, yeah, I have four of them. <laughs> and just plush poops. Um, the things that bring you joy may not bring your partner joy. <laughs> um, but, you know, things like snuggling on the couch with your giant dog. Um, building something, doing something with your hands. Um, I love sorting Lego blocks before I put something together. Sorting things, yes. <laughs> and feel the neurodivergence. <laughs> <laughs> getting them organized in the right yeah. place. Maybe even do the thing where you make them all laid out like you're going to take a photo of them or something. Yeah, what, what's, what's, it's cool. yes. Yeah. I always think of curfing, but that's when you cut off the strip so you can find <laughs> the piece. <laughs> Not quite the same. But similar brain patterns for how you do it. Mm -hmm. I love, uh, love, love jumping into a new good comic book mm -hmm. as like a motivation for when I actually do something well, like accomplish something, like I treat myself a little bit. Cool. And I also like to make my wife happy with stuff, material uh, material possessions. And so using those two as motivation of my comic books as a little reward and then the satisfaction of getting money and then getting to do something nice with my wife. Keeping those uh, in the back of my head at all times. Yeah. Yeah, you see a comic book, you're it it triggers that alarm because you're you're always looking for it. Um, that's how I feel like when I see a dog or a rabbit, any animal really. Mm -hmm. Rainbows, uh, good like graphic design. Oh yes, he is very into that. Yeah, yeah. There's a. Uh, there's a landscaping company around down for like bright. I can't think of it now, but their logo is like a tree and it's a bee and it's just it's just really well designed. <laughs> what did you think first time you saw the uh, the arrow and the FedEx logo? <laughs> um, I I like it. Yeah, I like it. It it. To me, that says that somebody was paying attention mm -hmm. and they didn't just like, they didn't design it by committee, honestly. Um, and like the mom in the Wendy's logo, oh, yeah. yep. mom under on her collar, yep. uh, the bear in the Toblerone, uh, to Toblerone mm. mountain. Yeah, mm -hmm. it just scratches that itch. Something else. I'm just, I'm just uh, 
there's an ambiguity about the Toblerone thing. Are you talking about like the mountain they have a picture on on the box of Toblerone, or are you talking about like an actual mountain of Toblerone, a really big <laughs> Toblerone that no one on earth deserves? <laughs> Concept. <laughs> oh, it was also a reference to oh, the yeah. Oh, yeah. I've never seen that before. Oh, that for sure. Yeah, that mountain. Yeah, there's very okay. Never seen wow. that one. There are so many windows over. <laughs> okay. Um. The I. Some of you probably know Nerd Fighters and Hank Green and John Green. Um, they're, I think, fantastic examples of like just being okay with who they are and what they love and and how they find joy and excitement and sharing that with people. Um, John Green doesn't look like that anymore. Uh, <laughs> he is he is my age. Fine. Okay, yeah, that was the last one that I had. Um, I put my Twitter handle on there. I'm, I, I mean, you could message me on Twitter, but like, I don't use it anymore. I think I'm past my social media stage of life. Too old for that shit. <laughs> um, I also don't know what time it is. Oh, yeah, that's not bad. Um, I would love to hear about anything else that brings you joy. I also, um, I got a knitting machine for Christmas and cause I had a lot of yarn and I still do. And I'm trying to go through it. So I brought hats. Um, so like go through my bag of hats and take one if you want it, please. Thank you. I have, I have many. Um, the talk was a ruse. <laughs> yeah, at, least, at least I'm not making them pay for them. It's not. It's not an MLM. Take this merchant. Take this inventory and put it in your garage, and then have a party. And then no. Uh, <laughs> I just wanted to say thank you for uh, listening and sharing. And I hope that. Um, well, I mean, honestly, I hope that my score in Denver Devs gets even more positive <laughs> <laughs> than it already was. I think it was at like 70%, which feels pretty good. Absolutely. But it could get higher. They have scores? Yeah, it's. I didn't know that either. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm going to stop sharing. Okay. Back to the front. Wave to the people there. Hello, yeah. All right. That's it for talks. Uh, I only have the one for tonight. Uh, please hang out, chat, talk. Um, eat more pizza. Yeah. Please eat more pizza. I, I don't want to take it home. <laughs> um, I ride the train, so there's not a lot of space. Um, we've got the space for well, until Charlie picks us out, so probably about an hour. If you want to hang out and chat, you don't have to. Um, have a great night. And I'm going to end the recording for the long morning folks. See you later. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Also. Yes, thank you. Also. Yeah. Yes. Thank you.